Hello everyone and welcome to my first video of the year and today we're doing something which has been very highly requested. So, as you guys know or may have seen, there is a mod out there which has Malaysia added to the F1 2020 game. So, I thought today we'd do a 25% race from the back of the grid and see exactly what it's like. So let's get into it then. We're going to go for Grand Prix mode and we're going to go with the F1 2020 cars. We're going to choose the Merc as we're going to drive from the back of the grid and we'll pick Mr. Lewis Hamilton. Now in this mod, I believe it replaces Paul Ricard. So we'll go for that and we'll make sure we run maximum AI 110. We'll go for a 25% race. Now then, on top of the French Grand Prix being the one that's replaced, you're also not allowed to go to track via flying lap so you have to drive out manually so we'll do that now and we're gonna get our first glimpse here live proper reaction i've not done a single lap i've done no practice we're gonna literally just hop into this first time reaction and see exactly what the mod quality is like i believe the mod creator is also working on hockenheim as well so we'll definitely do a video on that once that arrives and here we are then first time back on f1 2020 in i'd say a good half a year or so since I've done the video around Vietnam, I think it was, link in the top right. And here we are in the pit lane, about to join the track. My God, this is nostalgic. Limiter off. And it's like we never left. Wow. This is, this feels right, man. This feels good. Malaysia. Love it. It's got those kind of tarmac textures, which F1 2017 had which is where the track has been ported from. But, wow, this is a throwback and a half, man. This is awesome. Let's do a bit of practice here and see if we can get a decent feeling with the car and try to set a decent lap time. You forget how fast these cars are. Absolutely insane, the downfalls. Of course, these are the fastest F1 cars we've ever had, and probably will ever have, to be honest with you. I'd be surprised if we ever get a generation of F1 car faster than this. And the handling just feels very different. Like, you can get the power down so easily, and the, the rear is just absolutely planted compared to F122. So much more rear grip. There's me kind of, you know, feathering the throttle when I can easily just plant it flat out, and there's no issues. Also feels a bit different. I'm not a fan of how it feels in the low speed. That could be down to the just running a baseline setup. There's a lot of understeer and just a lack of rotation. Also the curbs on this game kind of actually help turn the car and kind of suck you in a little bit, which is something I forgot about. Definitely uh, a mixture of feelings here, but generally it feels like these cars are pretty damn quick and we're gonna have a lot of fun around here. Especially if I load up a sub for another circuit, which is similar to this one, and we start to really push it. But there's our first lap, a 36-0. What a difference already, just moving the brake past the 50. The car feels so much nicer to drive. Second lap is nearly two seconds faster. As you can see, more pace to find, but let's get a setup on and let's see what difference we can make. I'll be honest, I think in terms of the setups I have, I'm thinking what's most suitable for this circuit. And I'm probably leaning towards Silverstone, I think, as the best option. So we'll go for that. No idea what it is. So two six on the wings. Diff, hmm, interesting. Very different setups to what we were used to in the F122 game, but yeah, there we go. I like how the tires literally instantly warm up out of the pits. Takes two corners and they're up to temperature already. I've got the setup on and I've got the mediums on and we've got so much rotation now. The back end is so lively. This is going to be interesting now to start to push this setup. Oh, now it's starting to get quick. Now we're starting to find some pace. What a difference with a setup on. Already 1.4 up. This is a lot more interesting. Now these cars are so sharp on the nose, especially with an aggressive setup. Trying to P5. This will move us up though quite a bit. And there we go, P1. Right, let's get into the race and let's get to the main event. That's enough practice. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Albon, Ricardo, Sergio Perez, and Stroll, Leclerc, Vettel, Sainz, and Lando Norris, Ocon, Gasly, Daniel Kvyat, and Raikkonen, Grosjean, Russell, Kevin Magnussen, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi, and Lewis Hamilton rounds off the grid. 
it's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Right then, let's get into it. No idea how to get a good start in this game, I'm going to be honest. We're about to find out. Okay, that's not too bad to be fair. I'm happy with that. That's not terrible. I was expecting a lot worse. Anyway. But now absolutely dropped off the line as we head down to turn one. So, let's see. We'll go for the outside, which is usually the, the safe bet. Not feeling that. We're going to get boxed in. Get cut back through here. Nice exit. Let's use the manual ERS and the rich mix as well, which is something I completely forgot about in this game. Up the inside of at least one car. We'll try and clear Latifi if we can. Nicely done. That's one car passed. Look at the downforce this Mercedes has as we get a huge run on Giovinazzi and we clear him out of the right hander there. That was a lovely little move. Slight bit of contact and corner entry there. Warning for a collision. I wouldn't say that was my fault. Up the inside of Magnussen at the hairpin. We just get that one done. AI hey, seem pretty well behaved so far. And pretty rational with their racecraft. Up next, Kimi Raikkonen on the same compound, so important to pass him. Big Yi up the inside. Slightly out of shape and crossed up, but we get the move done. Going to use the battery and the rich mix to pull away. Look at that, the Ferrari power unit has nothing to answer for compared to the Mercedes power unit. So up to P16 already. Not too bad to be fair, considering I don't remember how to play this game and the handling's a bit different. Russell's our battery, so let's use up our energy here to close in. Here we go, look at the speed. Around the outside of turn one, another yellow flag. Not sure why, but we're going for the move on Gasly here at the same time, and we've done it. A two for one special. More yellows. Just no idea why they're being dropped. Might be some sort of track bug. So we won't read into it too much. As long as I don't get an illegal overtake or, or a penalty. We're good start though. Up to P14. Rojan next up. As we absolutely mess up that corner. Nicely done through there. That's going to put us on the back of Rojan. We know that car has very little straight line speed with that Ferrari engine in the back of it. Worth noting as well, battery uses up a lot quicker in this game. So ERS is a lot more effective and powerful, but it gets used up very quickly. Oh, okay. Interesting. No one's retired from what I can tell, but we've got a virtual safety car. Okay, what's going on here then? Something don't seem right, or too right anyway. Okay, VSE ending. So the Delta does kind of even itself out. It's a little bit inconsistent, but back on the way, and we're going to get the chance here to have a look at Kvyat straight away. Oh dear, that was a bit of a sketchy one. I lost the back end. The bollard stuck under my car, which is upset the balance. There we go, the bollard now has gone, but that cost us a little bit of time there. We're going to get the IS now for the first time, so we'll see how that starts to affect the racing. We're looking pretty good so far. Big bunch of cars here, so the, the pit stop could be key for an undercar and overcut. I'm tempted to undercar to a set of hards, maybe, and just try to jump all these guys. I'll be honest. Let's see if we can make some progress trying to clear them. We might have a look around the outside of turn one, as that seems to be a decent location for us to overtake. Still no idea why the VSC was deployed as we get one around the outside. We'll go for Kafiat. We won't go for Norris. It's not quite alongside. Good exit. We'll get the run on Lando here. Or not, the McLaren. Looking pretty speedy on the straight. Might get a chance here, maybe. Let's see. It seems like the Ferraris are really struggling for pace. thought about it. Lando goes defensive. So the AR's racecraft is pretty decent. So this isn't their game. Trying on Lando again here. Up the inside. Nicely done. 
That's P11. Now let's get Sebastian Vettel. We've got another virtual safety car. Uh, not ideal. VSC ending. Let's just stay above the Delta. There we go. Back on the way then. Yep, 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 yep. Signs as a five second time penalty. Maybe that was a VSC infringement. Not quite sure. Either way, P10 getting past Sebastian Vettel. Okay, that was nice. Right in the gearbox of our con here. They are pretty speedy actually, and they're going to go three wide briefly. Bottas pits, it's all kicking off as cars are in. Some stay out. Is in the pits. No DRS for some reason, the pit straight, but we don't need it as we blast past signs and we're going to try to get our car on the Renault. Pretty speedy, in terms of straight line speed. I stick my nose in there, but. Oh, on, fair play, broke late enough. I shouldn't have gone for that. That's my bad. AI hey, very slow through the corners, in some of them anyway. There I say so slow that it may trigger the virtual safety car. Sebastian Vettel at the race. As we now get past Ocon and make that move. Well, let's push. This could be our in lap, to be fair. And we can get the soft tires on. Okay, DRS on Stroll. Let's see if Stroll pits, I'll stay out. If he stays out, then I'll pit. Understood. Stopping this lap. Let's see what he does. Okay, we're gonna start one more lap. So nice clean air now. Let's really push. This will be our lap. We'll use all the battery as we set a new personal best, and at least for a lap, we'll take over the race lead. Right, this is a very strong in lap. Currently, about two seconds up almost on my personal best. Actually, that's a bit of an exaggeration. 1.3 seconds up, never mind. Anyway, let's use the rest of the battery here and let's pit. And uh, let's get the soft tyres on. Pushing the pit entry a lot more than the AI as we want our box with the softs. Nicely done. Cannot see the pit entry line. There it is. Right. What do we do in the pit stops in this game? Just pull away, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. We might actually get held by Gasly here. Okay, we just get away with it. Lovely. Onto the softs. 2.8. So, let's see where Verstappen is. He was the previous race leader. There he goes. Bottas. Now arriving. I think we're P3 here. I think we're going to be behind Bottas on track. Net P3. A4 goes according to plan. It will be close with Ricardo, but I think we'll be ahead. He's also got a penalty anyway. Back underway. Just behind Ricardo, but fresh soft heart. We can put that to you straight away. Look at that. Look at that grip. So net P3. We can win this race for Stappen. 12 seconds up the road. Let's get after it. Valtteri Bottas new fastest lap. 32.3. So that's a reference for us to aim for. Can be right in the pit lane. As right, so we go purple in sector 3. Task 32.3 again. 
29.7 from us. I might even let you guys enjoy that lap in full, to be fair. Right then, we've arrived. On to Bottas. Two laps to go, pretty much. And, oh my god, what? Okay, well, that was easy. <laughs> Bottas just moved over to, for us to go through. I'm guessing that was a bit of a glitch. But you know what? We'll take it as some sort of a team order from Mercedes, who uh, are letting us go because we're on the fast tyre. So, let's treat it as that. Let's try and get a snap and hopefully he doesn't step aside and actually battles us. If we catch him, of course, with a lap and a half to go. Well, some things never change, just like in the current F1 game. Verstappen is using up his battery now to go for a fastest lap attempt, so he's actually matching our pace. So it looks like it's going to be P2 in this race, which is still absolutely fine. Probably could have got there a bit sooner had I not got stuck in some of traffic, but it is what it is. Also, just the fact I'm not used to the game. But good fun, though. Bit of a shame about the virtual safety cars. Kind of, you know, put a halt to our progress for a little while, but still really enjoyable. Still not used to his handling. Very, very snappy. Car feels very sluggish in a weird sort of way, but that could be my full feedback settings. Either way, Verstappen will win in the return to Malaysia, and we're going to finish in second place. And this is 2020, so technically what was to happen the year after, I guess this was a bit of a preview in many ways. But there we go, across the line, and we'll take that. Another superb French Grand Prix comes to an end, and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. And there you go guys, that is it for this race here today at the French Grand Prix in Malaysia. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll leave the link to the mod down below. If you have F1 2020 on PC, go check it out. Give it a go and let me know what you think. But yeah, guys, that was it for me here today. As always, a massive shout out to the members for supporting the content. Check out the two videos on screen, and let me know what video you want to see me do next, and also what other mod content you want to see me do next. But yeah, cheers for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.